How do you follow that? Um, <clears throat> Guinea pigs, I think, member. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Madam President. Uh, look, I rise tonight just to put on record a response to the Honourable Robin Scott's member's statement last night regarding an MRI in Kalgoorlie. <clears throat> Firstly, it is great to be able to agree on something with the member um, that uh, the Kalgoorlie region is in dire need of an MRI machine. But as is quite common from the honourable member, he doesn't let the truth get in the way of a good member's statement. Unlike the member, WA Labor identified well before the election, with our candidate working very hard on the ground, <clears throat> how critical an MRI is for the region, and rightfully made a strong election commitment that would deliver an MRI machine to Kalgoorlie. How did we do this? We did it with the Goldfields plan. <clears throat> this plan had our election commitments in it, and I'd like to table this document so that the honourable member can have a read so he knows how the Labor Party has been the one driving this election commitment for the Goldfield region. For the record, WA Labor uh, was... Member, uh, do you seek leave to table I do seek leave to table that document. Member seeks leave to table that document. Is leave granted? Aye. Leave is granted. You have a very good read of that, honourable member. Uh, um, so he knows the Labor Party has been delivering the one driving to get this um, delivered even prior to being elected. For the record, WA Labor was and is the only party that committed to delivering an MRI to the Goldfields region during the 2017 election. No other party, including the Honourable Robin Scott, made any commitment on the MRI. I don't think they've mentioned that part. As always, the member made a slight dig in his statement last night about me, um, referring towards uh, not signing his petition. What he didn't mention was that I was meeting with a community group, the police commissioner and a minister at the time. But regardless, what I just tabled is, as far as I'm concerned, a way stronger document to seeing an MRI machine delivered in the goldfields. The MRI is needed. There are many reasons why. I won't go into it. There's been many discussions on it in this chamber. I will, will say the member doesn't seem to mention the disaster that is the history of this project, which spans right back to as early as 2001, where Liberal member Matt Burney lobbied for it publicly, and then again in 2008 when the Liberal Party made a commitment to deliver an MRI room and machine to the hospital during the upgrades. When doing the upgrade, they completely forgot about the MRI and did no work whatsoever on it. I would love for the member to table this so-called response from the government saying we will not deliver an MRI um, due to cost. Uh, quite frankly, I think it doesn't exist. And again, don't let the truth get in the way of uh, a good member's statement. We are delivering our election commitments. Even without having won the seat of Kalgoorlie, the party, uh, we are the party that delivers. The people of Kalgoorlie have really enjoyed seeing all the commitments in our plan delivered. Madam President, the member also said it was a six and a half hour round trip from Kalgoorlie to Perth. Maybe if you own your own plane, but it is 13 hours round trip from Kalgoorlie. It is a long trip, six and a half hours each way. Yeah, well, so have I, member. Whilst One Nation love to boast they have delivered the Medicare licence off the back of the uh, deal in the Senate, for I think it was uh, uh, passing some tax cuts to the wealthy, I think is what uh, the One Nation did a deal for, apparently. I know some facts that may dismiss this. I was lobbying both the federal and the state government at the time to see a uh, Medicare licence delivered to the goldfields, and it was the Shadow Minister for Health, Catherine King, who firstly um, started talking publicly as far as the federal government's concerned about an, uh, a Medicare licence for the region. She came out to Kalgoorlie and announced that if Labor was elected, they would deliver the Medicare licence to the region. The federal government at the time had only issued two Medicare licences for the entire term they'd been in. Um, so it was quite an achievement to put that on the record. And then, lo and behold, not long after, the, fed, the federal government, the Liberal Nationals, came out and matched it and delivered the licence. I know the community understands at a higher level than the member that delivering this key piece of equipment and ensuring we do it right so that it is long term and brings great outcomes for everyone is, is not as simple, and I quote, as building a concrete room and plonking an MRI in it. Seriously, we come to the government, this issue is over 15 years old and there, is nothing, there was nothing done when we came into government. No business cases, no planning, no funding, no nothing. We have progressed it, we are committed to it, and WA Labor will deliver it for the people of the Goldfields. Thank you.